Hello and welcome to the 10-day trend from the Met Office. We're well into autumn now, but there's no real signs of the mists and mellow fruitfulness that many of us associate with autumn. If you're after some fine weather, you'll have to make do with a couple of bright and breezy days to end this working week. There should be some sunshine around, but it will feel distinctly chilly. And then into the weekend, well, it's rather mixed. It doesn't mean it'll rain all weekend, far from it. There'll be some dry weather around as well, but there's no, I say, prolonged spell of settled weather. And certainly beyond that, the weather looks uh, pretty unsettled for much of next week with bouts of wet and windy weather on the way. Now, speaking of wet and windy weather, we've got a deep area of low pressure crossing the country. First thing on Thursday, bringing strong winds and some heavy rain. That zips away quite quickly. And then high pressure does at least temporarily push in. So through much of Thursday and indeed most of Friday, that high pressure will bring some fine weather. It'll be largely dry. There will be some October sunshine. There'll be a chilly breeze blowing, though, and the mornings in particular will be on the cold side, especially Friday morning. After that, well, the weather, as I said at the start, does get a bit more mixed for the weekend. There is a set of weather fronts moving across the country on Saturday. Nothing too vigorous, nothing too intense about this set of weather fronts, but it will bring cloud and patchy rain. Behind it, a, a ridge of high pressure tries to topple in, but then there's weather fronts nearby. It's a, it's a wishy-washy picture through the course of the weekend, but it, as I said at the start, doesn't mean it'll rain all weekend. Far from it. Yes, some patchy rain around on Saturday, but it looks a lot drier for many of us on Sunday. So the weather patterns, as I said, looking a little wishy-washy, not no real oomph to the weather systems through the weekend. As we go beyond that, though, we do start to see a more significant change. The low-pressure systems just start to have a, an angrier edge to the more weather fronts across the UK as well. So, as I say, looking more unsettled next week with those low-pressure systems bringing more vigorous uh, bouts of wet and windy weather our way. Why is that? Well, as usual, we need to look high up in the atmosphere at the jet stream, that fast-moving ribbon of air that drives our weather systems. I'm going to take you back to Sunday now and notice that a close to the UK, uh, the jet stream is almost non-existent or certainly very weak. But out in the Atlantic, there is uh, a reasonably strong jet. And as we go through Monday and Tuesday, those stronger winds high up in the atmosphere do drive towards the UK. They'll bring areas of low pressure, which is why next week looks much more unsettled. I'm going to show you quite a complicated uh, picture now, and this is to show the pressure trend as we go into next week. Now, don't worry too much about the numbers, just concentrate more on the colours. These are the dates of when the forecast was made, and these dates along the top are when the forecast is for. So we're starting with uh, Thursday, Friday this week, 5th and 6th of October. Now, the blue indicates when we're most likely to see low pressure across the UK, whereas red would suggest high pressure and more settled weather. Now, as I say, don't too worry too much about the numbers, but you can see a definite trend here. Many of the uh, computer runs over recent days showing that low pressure system across the UK first thing on Thursday. But after that, it does turn redder as we go through into the weekend, suggesting that higher pressure will be in control, which is why the weather's looking at least uh, for a time a little more settled. But notice quite a strong signal there as we go beyond Tuesday through next week for the blue colours to take over, suggesting that, yes, low pressure is much more likely through most of next week. And that means this time of year spells of wind and rain. Of course, things chop and change. There will be dry periods in between, but no real sign of that settled spell of high pressure, which we need if you want those misty and foggy mornings that many of us associate with autumn. Of course, this is just the 10-day trend. Always stay tuned to the Met Office forecast. You can always get more on the Met Office website. Download the Met Office app for day-to-day -day updates.